Welcome to this episode of the Sports Detective Podcast Show. My name is James Williams, and today we discuss if the winner of the 2024 Masters will have an asterisk by their name. Why are we talking about this? Well, uh, this golfer named Taylor Gauche, Gauche? we'll just say Gauche for this. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, he's a golfer who is on the Live Tour. Because he is on the Live Tour, and the last few times he was in kind of like major eligible events, He's not basically he's not playing in the Masters. I think he finished like tied for 14th one year previously. And uh, he had some interesting quotes about, you know, the Masters and basically said that because some golf or some live golf players aren't going to be competing in the Masters, that this tournament should be met with some sort of an asterisk. So we'll go ahead. I'll show you guys this here. This is an article from ESPN. And uh, this isn't the this is these are quotes from a golf uh, Australian golf digest interview that are used for this. So we'll go ahead and read this uh, article here. Still smarting over. Uh, that's a weird title. Still smarting over not being invited to this April's masters tournament. Taylor Gauche said the idea of basing majors eligibility on the official world golf ranking is antiquated. Gauche, the live golf league individual champion in 2023 isn't earning ranking points because of his league affiliation. He has fallen to the number 449 in the rankings because the official world golf ranking system does not recognize live participation. So to add a little bit of context to that. So basically to become eligible for the masters one way. Now there's, there's many different ways to become eligible for the masters, but one way to do it is if you are in the top 50 of this official world golf ranking. And if you're in the top 50 that year, at the end of the uh, 2023 calendar year, I believe so, and before the event, if you're in that top 50, you get an invite to the Masters and you get to compete in the uh, the Masters golf tournament. Since he is in live and they don't recognize him as a, uh, they, th- this uh, ranking system does not recognize him there, He so he's not going to be eligible. He's not going to be at the Masters. And another way, too, he has played in the Masters a few times before, as I think it'll say down here. You got, like, 14th, which is, like, right on the cusp. Like, I think if you get top 12, they invite you back. So, so he has played in a little bit before, but we'll go ahead and keep reading this article here. In an interview with the Australian Golf Digest posted Tuesday, Ghosh said that not having the top players in the field only dilutes the end results. If Rory McIlroy goes and completes his career Grand Slam, Without some of the best players in the world, there's just going to be an asterisk, he said. It's just the reality. I think when I think everybody wins whenever the majors figure out a way to get the best players in the world there. Gauche, 32, gave up his PGA Tour membership in 2023 when he moved to the upstart big money live golf circuit. He had one career PGA Tour win and $9.25 million in career earnings, well eclipsed by his... $46.5 million he has won in his first two seasons on the Live Tour. Oh, my God, that is crazy. Despite winning three tournaments and the Live Golf title in 2023, Gauche didn't receive one of the three invitations to the Masters issued by officials at Augusta National. One of the invites went to Liv's Joaquin Neiman of Chile, who was credited by Masters officials for his win at the ISPS Honda Handa Australian Open and two other sanctioned events. Hopefully the day will turn when the majors decide to start rewarding good play on live. Hopefully that'll be sooner than later. Ghosh said England's Lee Westwood, a former number one uh, player now playing in the live golf league told the Australian digest golf digest that it's time for change. I think the official world golf ranking has got to get itself into a real hole or has gotten itself into a real hole. It's got itself to a point where it's obsolete. Really. If I'm being completely honest, Westwood 50 said, uh, it's managed to be so stubborn that it no longer ranks all the best golfers in the world fairly. And it's gone so far that I don't see how it can come back from the hole that it's in because you can't backdate them. And he agreed with Ghosh that the prestige of the majors is at stake. I don't know where the official world golf ranking goes from there. It's not fit for purpose anymore. It's there to rank the best golfers in the world. And it doesn't do that. If you are a major championship and you're looking for the best fields, and now you can't go off the official world golf rings to formulate your fields and use them for exemptions. You've got to find another way of doing it. Otherwise, you'll lose credibility as a major championship, don't you? All right, so to the comments specifically about Rory McIlroy, 
Rory responded to them. We'll say we'll read these comments here, um, and then I'll kind of give you my take on this. Uh, so where are they here? I'm in a different article. Um, so this is what Rory had to say as a response to that. The Masters is an invitational, and they'll invite whoever they think warrants an invite, said McElroy, who will play in the Cognizant Classic that starts Thursday at PGA National, the site of what used to be called the Honda Classic. I think to be fair to Taylor, if you read the entire uh, the question and the answer, it's not as if he just came out with that. I feel like whoever did the interim led him down that path to say that. So I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt there a little bit. He just agreed with what the interviewer asked. So have it there that's a a few perspectives on the the live golfers and what a few of them think and then you have rory's perspective there and if you know anything about rory rory has been very against the live golf thing uh from the start and i think he was a little bit fair to that guy that made that comment there uh to give you a little bit of golf background on me here i usually watch like the majors i don't necessarily watch every single golf tournament but i am interested in golf i love watching golf don't necessarily like playing golf but i do think the majors are pretty interesting. And I do think a lot of times major championship Sunday can be very, very fascinating television down the stretch there. So I am a, a, a tiny bit of a golf fan there, but with that being said to this guy's point here, Gosh's point, dude, dude, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't get the $46.5 million from live and then get mad when you're not getting invited to PGA majors. I understand there's, I don't know the entire relationship between like the major tournaments. Cause I know that like, they aren't like completely excluding live guys. Like a lot of live guys are getting invited and are eligible, but it, it's not like there are some that are still ineligible. Um, so I, I don't know the necessarily thing here, but when you left the PGA guys, this is a thing that you were leaving on the table and you have to realize that. The you guys didn't show the PGA any integrity and they're not showing you any integrity back. It, it's kind of like, you know, it, I, I'm trying to think of like certain TV shows where it's like or, or movies where it's like you break up like, you know, a character like breaks up with somebody um, and just treats them very, very poorly. And then they go back and try to like reconcile things with their ex. And they're just like, dude, ex wants nothing to do with them. And they're like shocked. Like, dude, why didn't you have nothing to do with me? It's like, oh, yeah, you slept with my best friend and like screwed me over same thing here with these live guys these live guys almost like in a way dish or have basically cratered or they basically put like a bit how do i want to word this they basically put the future of golf in jeopardy and basically have just created this whole mess and it's just if you if you're a part of live you can't be expected like that's what the money's for that's what the money's for yeah maybe you made like i don't know five times as much on the live tour than you have the PGA tour. I'm really not crying for you and your $46 million, bro. I don't think this tournament's going to be barred with an asterisk. Cause I do think the, like most of the best live golfers are still going to be at this tournament. It's not like they're banning all live golfers. Um, I still think we should like, not going to say that this major championship is ruined because Taylor Ghosh isn't there and maybe a few other live golfers. So uh, that's basically my take on it. It's just like, Dude, you have no right to be like this upset about. Now, again, I again, he probably was misled a little bit along on that article, but clearly people think this way on the live tour that like these majors are going to start having asterisks because they're not inviting all the live guys or all the all the best live guys or, you know, like the guy like they're basically and it's like, yeah, because they're not those aren't PGA tour events and they don't they don't recognize those as being qualifying events. Maybe there would be a thing where they. Um, in the future where they, where the live golf league and the PGA and these majors get together and they find a way to make some of these live events, like qualifying events, that's something that could happen in the future. I don't know if that would ever happen, but I don't think these live guys should be able to get their 46 million and get mad that they're not getting invited to mate. It's like, this is what you signed up for money's for dude. It's what the money's for. You get a bunch of money. You play in a bunch of golf tournaments that no one cares about. And if you don't, you know, do the requisite things to qualify for these majors, most of them being like playing well in other majors, then you're not going to get there. You're not going to get invited. So I don't feel too bad for this dude. Um, know what you think in the comments. Uh, I don't think the integrity of golf being, you know, is at stake here. I think if you're, I, I think you're, it's the pot calling the kettle black here a little bit. I think it's pretty hypocritical. It's like, I just went and joined this other golf league that basically 
you know, almost cratered the sport in a way. And I, I can't believe they're not inviting me, bro. I, I can't believe the integrity is ruined. I can't believe the integrity is ruined. It's, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of stupid to me, but kind of an interesting story here. We'll see if there's any other stories, any other people as we get going down, as we're entering golf season, we're like a month and a half and away from the, the masters basically here. I love watching the majors. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you, uh, also, if you like this video, you like content like this, we usually talk NBA, NFL, college basketball, sports media stuff, college football too, big college football show here. Any of that stuff, hit subscribe, maybe explore the podcast channel a little bit, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.